Hey guys, Boris Lasser from BK Forest. Welcome to our Forex Daily Technicals for 5.15.13. More dollar strength? Open question right now as we certainly have a very strong rally in, in the offing. Trading foreign exchange on margin carries high level risk may not be suitable for all investors. So I ask you to look at this disclaimer very carefully and read all of the details about associated risks traded with traded margin and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. Well, let's start with the euro because I think it's important to look at um, the key levels. We got 29.50 definitely got taken out today in a pretty significant manner because not only did 50 go, but 25 kind of tumbled at the very, very end of the session. It was kind of a very bizarre uh, trade where we sort of uh, dumped right at the five o'clock hour. You could, you could actually, you look at the five minute chart, you can really see this, um, this, this sort of last minute. This was actually the post, um, post close dump. And then we got bought. Um, so the key question is that obviously there's, there's buyers in front of 29, got bought very quickly, uh, came back about 20 points into Asia session. And we're hanging out here, just sort of marking time. Uh, we don't have, uh, we have GDP data tonight, which could be a, which could be an interesting move, right? German GDP data. If that comes in weak, there's very, very serious possibility we can break the uh, 29 handle. Um, taking down 29 really opens up the path. Let me just show this to you a little bit in more detail. Opens the path for a full test of these um, 2750 lows, right? So we're like right here on a daily pretty ugly candle actually today. If you look at, it, at the candle today, we basically sort of flamed out to the top and then ended at the bottom. That's a very, very negative. Look at this. I'm going to zero in on this. It's a pretty negative um, signal. Um, but not always, not always a uh, sign that we're going further down. It can also sometimes be a sign of just complete washout. Here's a, here's a sort of a similar example where you test the top, close at the bottom, test the bottom, but really don't break it. And that I think is going to be really the key tell here. So if this is the analog for us to look at, um, if we test the bottom and don't really break it um, and start to turn back up, we have a potential here to turn to turn ourselves around. Um, similar kind of a situation here also, but here we tested the bottom and then on the second day broke down for, for, for yet one final breakdown. So I think it could be a, a two or three day development of whether we uh, ultimately test the 2850s or whether this is going to be a higher low at around these, right above these 29 levels that um, it would be more productive for uh, for a longer longer position in the euro. But either way, um, we are certainly at, at a very, very key junctures here in the euro and definitely worth keeping an eye on. Yen, fresh open spaces for us. We took out the uh, 102.25s. Now the big question is, and this is really going to be an interesting question, it's a pretty uh, good looking candle today. We, we tested the lows, came back up. 101.50 is, is the clear support here. Um, the 101 is the absolute support. 101.50 is sort of the clear support here. But now we've got to see if, if Asia and Europe can carry us forward. 103 is the natural target for the longs as um, as we sort of gear up for the you know for the next leg up. Um, but if we kind of fail here, this would actually be a pretty ugly sign for um, for the longs because we, we would have made fresh highs and failed off the fresh highs, which means that this would have been a fake out, not a breakout. And that certainly, I think, could... Um, could put more of a uh, question mark into, into the uh, dollar yen rally. For now, it's really all about U.S. yields, U.S. Uh, fixed income versus JGBs. As long as JGBs stay, stay muted and they don't, the, the yields in JGBs don't go crazy overnight, and as long as uh, U.S. Treasuries continue to inch higher, the uh, path res resistance here is to the upside. So um, well, it's going to be interesting to see how well, how well the trade happens today. Today could be a very seminal day in the sense that we really do need to make fresh highs, to, uh, especially since we broke out the fresh highs. Uh, and if we fail to do so, that could be a turning point in the end for a short-term profit-taking move. So I'll be looking for that very carefully. Cable, it just horrid. Horrid today. It was a really, really ugly day. Broke the uh, 5250s. Um, it is relatively serious support here at 52 so there's a possibility that we could just sort of you know we, we sort of broke it and now we're going to hold it if you are a uh, bottom buyer spec then this is certainly your trade because you have very little risk here um, even if you sort of give yourself let's say 25 points underneath 52 as a possible you know last minute gasp test um, then you um, and, and you survive it then you definitely have a chance for a retrace back up if on the other hand we start breaking down we take out uh, 75s um, the next stop is 51 and really the next stop is really 50 50 which is a you know pretty significant drop 
uh, from these levels and a continuation of the downside. We do have UK labor data today. We'll see if that's going to be a, a market mover on the fundamental side. But um, technically, uh, the currency does look ugly, um, and it is, but it is coming in to very, very key support here at the 200. And then Aussie, which is something that has just been a one-way trip to the downside, probably the most hated currency in, in the uh, market right now. Um, I tweeted out a little bit earlier that yes, there's definitely a huge amount of liquidation going on, and yes, 99 got given, and yes, we you know we came back down. But if you look at the longer term trade, let me just see if I can pull this up here, probably on a yearly basis. Um, no, I think I'm gonna have to go even higher. Uh, I'm gonna have to go to perhaps right here. Um, it's about a year and a half uh, back. Well, almost you know six, basically a year uh, in June of last year. The spike lows were around 96, and um, you know we certainly we're, we're far away from that. But my point is that the rally is at the end of its um, of, of its move at this point, and I do think that 98.50 at very least is going to act as support. It certainly did act as support today. Um, small. Dead cat bounce 100 clearly par now former resistance be, uh, former support now becomes big resistance and um, um, I think it's going to find you know if it does retrace this going to be a natural level to sell on the rally for those that, that want to uh, sell on the retrace but for near term I do think that we may have a little bit of a um, um, pushback or move up in the Aussie which brings me to the idea that maybe Aussie crosses could be a trade here Aussie Swiss definitely. Uh, put in a uh, pretty decent double bottom here, a support at 95.50s, and it's trading actually half, halfway decently in Asia at 95.63. Um, it does have resistance 96.50, 97, but that's about 100 points here. And if, you tra if you're trading the uh, the bounce, Aussie Swiss is one of my um, more favored uh, crosses here for a potential bounce in the Aussie. And the other one is actually the the more obvious one is also Euro Aussie, right? Euro Aussie has been a um, uh, one way up trade. Um, kind of flamed out over here a little bit. Uh, had the highs, ended up uh, sort of mid 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 uh, candle. So using these these uh, high, highs here around 31.18, 31.25, which is also corresponding quite well against the double top of 31.50 here, uh, could potentially be an interesting trade to the downside. Um, break of the 30s, 130, definitely opens up a, a, a steeper retrace. So I kind of like the idea of, of maybe Aussie, which has been so relatively weak finding just a bit of relative strength uh, perhaps today on a corrective basis as, uh, as the day progresses. And lastly, um, the other interesting thing I think that's going on in the, in the market today is dollar CAD had it just a, it's been a real, real relative strength, right? Relative uh, strong currency. And today it just blew that relative strength out the door the opposite way. A big, big gain. Dollar CAD sort of dropping against the dollar big time. We took out the 101.50s. At 10170, 102 now is in the eye, is in the target, and really 10250 is sort of in the target. Which actually also, if you if you're looking for Aussie crosses where the turn, you know, where you want to trade Aussie strength, yet another relative strength uh, trade that's interesting to look at here could be Aussie CAD, which has been also pummeled, right? Pummeled big time, um, came down to virtually parity. I was talking about Aussie CAD coming into parity, came into you know 135, um, and now. Has a reasonable chance to kind of crawl its way back to 10150. So um, I think a lot of these trades, if you sort of bet on the Aussie strength from Aussie Swiss to Aussie Swiss to Euro Aussie to um, Aussie CAD, look kind of interesting. And the more, um, what I would say is the, the the most interesting setup today on the crosses probably could be given the um, um, given the economic data in terms of Germany. If we get weak economic data out of Germany, you get further Euro weakness through the 29s. And the Euro Aussie trade could be the most interesting in terms of the turn to the downside. Break of the 130s definitely opens up um, a, a deeper correction into the uh, 129s, possibly even all the way down to 128s. So I kind of like that trade, I think, as a uh, as a potential look for uh, for the rest of the uh, session. Anyways, hopefully you guys have a great trade. Uh, everybody, um, please read the disclaimer. I understand that um, you should be aware of, the, aware of all the risks associated with trading foreign exchange or margin. Seek advice from a financial advisor if you have any doubts. And I'll see you guys in the markets. Tweet tweet me out at FX Flow. Have a good one. Boris Lossberg for BK Forex over and out.